You got an F for your geometry test. Now you need a way to get yourself an A. You want to do your very best. So just listen to what we gotta say. So I told you for trick ratio, sine, cosine, and tangent, you know. So opposite over hypotenuse. Cuh. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So what? Uh, Opposite over adjacent. Uh, now we chilling in the basement. Y'all need a replacement. Special right triangles. 45, 45, 90. Now I'm leaving all them F's behind me. Hypotenuse equals e to what times 2. What? I mean, group 2. Then there's 30, 60, 90. I'm telling you this one. Hypotenuse is a short leg times 2. And you're probably wondering what this has to do with you. But this is all geometry. And the long leg equals short leg times root three. A squared plus b squared is c squared. That's right. See the hypotenuse that's along your side. If all the sides match the description, it's right. It's all right because it's right, 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 right. Triangle that is okay. The Pythagorean theorem works the same way. A squared plus b squared is c squared. That's right, but that's only if your triangle is right. If you have two sides and an opposite angle, or two angles and an opposite side, you can use the law of sides, and, and then, then you'll be just fine. Calculate the time. If you have two side measures of any triangle, you can find the measures of the angles. Yeah, you already go. Because a squared is b squared plus c squared minus quantity of 2bc times the cosine of angle a. If you yeah. only have two side measures, don't get distressed. Using cool measure, you can find the rest. By B, C, and angle A are all that you need. By A, the extra side, then the steps above repeat. said I would get an A. This is not an A. It's, well, it's not our fault you have Miss Nash for geometry honors. He wants. Right. Oh. They do the Harlem shit.